Welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. We've got a very interesting one for you today. We're taking a look at the official trailer for No Man of God. Yes. Uh, this, comes, this is being written by the guy who wrote Doctor Strange and the two Sinister films. Um, it's an interesting plot. Uh, it's based off a true story. Yeah, Elijah yeah. Wood plays FBI agent Bill Hagem Hagemeyer. And this is the true story about how he formed this really strange relationship with yeah, Ted he, Bundy. Yeah, he pretty much, uh, when Je uh, Ted Bundy was, you know, full pri in prison and stuff like that, uh, pretty much for the for, for about, I think, five years, I think? For, yeah, so... For about a good five years, he goes in to, to pretty much try to figure out or pick his mind at Ted yes. Bundy. And that's when they, they're really, it's one of those things where it's like, these were uh, Ted Bundy's final years. Yeah, that was, yeah, that, that was part I'm of leading. I know, that was part of leading. Of 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 I know, that was the part of leading into is that, yeah, these is, the worst of relationship while Tim Bundy is, is on death row. Yeah, he's on death row, so he's, he's talking to him, but it's like the, the relationship they, that they, that they uh, create uh, as he, talks to him, interviews him and stuff like that. Um, and just, the, you know, it's like those final, you know, it's like this final years and trying to dive into the into this this mind of Ted, Mund ben, ben, Ted Bundy. So in a way it's kind of grabbing that concept of like what Mindhunters, uh, that series on Netflix. Yeah, doing, based on the plot you get vague Mindhunter vibes. Where it's just like you're try they're trying to understand the killer, understand where they're coming from or try to see their point of view for study cases in a way. You're trying to comprehend how their mind works and develop and things like that so let's just dive into this and take a look at the official trailer for no man of god so here we go you think you're smarter than him you think you're going to be the one that's going to get him to confess well, i don't think i'm smarter sir i don't think you necessarily have to be smarter this is what's going to happen February 13th, 1986. This is Agent Bill Hagmeyer. I'm sitting with Theodore. Oh, Ted. I'm sitting with Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy has 13 hours to live, and he is using those hours to try and buy himself more time. He's ready to talk. He said he's ready to confess everything, but I want to talk to one person. There are families out there looking for answers. The world needs to know why he killed those girls. You're some hotshot young upstart, and I'm your next big case. You're going to be the guy who broke me. There are and misunderstandings about me. What are you going to tell me? Everything. What do you think you want? You and I will sit down and have the conversation you've wanted this whole time. When you get too close to a guy like this, you can lose your way. Do you think you could kill someone? I'm an FBI agent. That's not what I'm saying. You can't hold these girls hostage. I'm not playing games. How many did you kill? Let's say 30. Let's say we talk about the real number. 30 is a nice round number. So I think I think it was him. It could be somebody else. But I believe he did confess because they, they said that pretty much his his numbers ranged not in the like what he was trying to say thirties, but like in the hundreds. Of, uh, like for the women he's done this to, or at least has uh, you know uh, he, he's killed. You know, and I believe it was on his deathbed when he I think he revealed just a little bit more, where it was like it was more than just that number. But just it wasn't still in the range of what the FBI wanted it to be because it's like even they knew that it was more than that, even that. So he's like he confessed to a couple, or like a few more, but that was just before he's about to die. If I'm correct, uh, he according to this, the last confession he did was because he brought thirty. Was he did confess to thirty, but eventually, apparently, in the end, he did confess to thirty six. Yeah, that's why I said on his death. It was on his deathbed, or at least when he was nearing it, where it's like he he confesses just a few more, but that's about it. 
Even though everybody knows that, that there is, yeah. his numbers were in the hundreds. Yeah, yeah. He says he confessed to 36, but people think he was much more, like it triple was, digits yeah, more. Yeah, triple digits more. It's like, that's how good he was. It's just that they're saying that it's like the, the only actual, you know, possible, case, you know, recorded ones, or at least ones they could really find evidence on, are at least, you know... In that in that range from what he stated, I think if anything, this sh this film, like with um, Mine Hunters, no, the, the the sorry, the Zac Efron one where he played. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, where we're going to see just how good this guy can be. And like in this case, oh, well, not even that, how manipulative he can, he can be. Because in in the in the film with Zac uh, Zac Efron, that one just really showed you know how he loved the attention and stuff like that. This one still kind of shows it, but it, at the same time, it shows, it really, this one dives more into his psychology. Yeah. It really, it really dives into pretty much high Zebo. That's why, you know, I love how the trailer starts, how they're like, you know, he's gonna make you think you're his friend, or he's gonna make you think, you know, one thing, but it's actually, you know, he's just tricking you into another thing, you know, yeah, that, situation. Yeah, that's what all this film is really showing. If you like, if you ever want to see the full history of Tim Bundy, then you check out the Zac Efron one. Zac Efron, but also, yeah, but also I was going to say, you know, once you draw, well, I'll probably watch that one, watch this one, because this one will probably die. Like I said, it's going to dive even yeah. deeper into his psychosis and who, you know, who this man really was, you know, or at least into his mind. It was like how much where it's like this guy was like, Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs at this point. Yeah, this one, yeah, this one, like you said, this is mainly focusing on his mind. Yeah, in the way it's diving into his mind, and they're, you know, that's why you know, at the same time they're trying to use this FBI agent not only to find, really dive into his mind, but also try to find, you know, give him to confess to the, all to a larger amount at, at this point, to a larger amount of how many he, you know, how many women he's killed in total. So yeah, I think anybody who's fan of true crime stuff will definitely probably. Well, they'll probably definitely love this. Find something. In uh, this Elijah Wood movie. looks like he's doing a phenomenal job in this. It looks like it's he's definitely giving his all. You know, in those moments of like a young, looks like like a young FBI agent who's just trying to get answers or at least try to get information. So it's like, you know, it looks like he's playing that part very well. I've seen that the guy who plays that, but I. He's before. been in, I, I double check. He's been very noble, different things. He's been a lot of different things. So Nothing real, anything uh, th from what I've seen, he was in um, Marvelous, the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Okay. Um, just the oh. ac actor. Just double yeah, checking. Yeah, let's see. He was in Percy vs. Goliath, which we saw a trailer for that. Yeah. He's been, like I said, he's been a number of different things, so it's okay. like... Okay. No, because he seemed like he's from, like, I've seen him from, like, another show or something. Yeah, like, you probably show. So you may have seen him from one of the many things he's done, so... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, looks good. So other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about, like, films that involve Tim Bundy, uh, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Or if you're a fan of more of uh, the true crime stories or true crime mysteries and stuff like that, um, uh, type of films and, thing, and things, uh, what, is, what are your guys' thoughts and opinions on this? It looks like they're doing a good job. Do you think uh, you know they're really going to dive into you know what really made Ted Bundy maybe kind of click a little bit? I mean, let us know. I mean, what really draws you into these true crime type of stories? Let us know in the comments down below. Put that what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, Thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And this has been yet another Bundy-filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and start us at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.